Good morning, Makeup Void. I'm Trin, the Makeup Schizophrenic, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to have some fun. I got this video idea. I saw Rachel, Rachel Palmieri do it, where you only, like, imagine you get rid of your entire collection, and you can only buy 20 products to replace everything. And I've seen lots of videos where it's five products, it's 10 products, but 20 products seems pretty manageable. So we're going with 20. P Rachel got the idea from Batty Bean. I saw in the comments of Rachel's video that Teresa is dad is going to film this. So I'm just jumping on the trend train. I, I'm just gonna do it to you. We're gonna have some fun. Give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at TrinityMay9391. Let's go ahead and get rolling. I do have some demos of the makeup application that I did today. I am talking about, I today I did a tutorial for Instagram using the Adapt Cyber Choir Palette. So you should already be seeing that on Instagram, hence the blog in the intro. And so I want to do some honorable mentions where if I got rid of my entire collection, I would be going, I'd be adding these additional products as well because I am a dirty cheater. I regret nothing. So starting off with the moisturizer, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skincare Mattifying Oil Free Moisturizer. This is exactly what I need in my life. An oil controlling moisturizer. Best of both worlds, get some moisture in, but I also help my skin being oil free. It doesn't do 100% of the work, but I just love this moisturizer. And I do love a good makeup mist. It's just, I don't know if it does anything, but I still have to use it. And I've been talking a lot about the Pixie Makeup Misting Mist. I bought a backup of this. I absolutely adore it. It just has like rose water and green tea and my skin just loves that. So after I apply my moisturizer, I do a little spritz of this. And y'all, we have to talk about sunscreen. I tried a lot of sunscreens last year and nothing compares to the blue this invisible daily sunscreen SPF 30 I prefer SPF 50 but we'll stick with 30 I love this because it's a nude nude color sunscreen it's not white it's not glowy it's nothing that is popular right now it's just a simple sunscreen it looks beautiful under foundation concealer it also controls my oils because it's a little mattifying but it evens out to more of a natural finish but like at first it's like really mattifying and i love that i didn't mention it before but i live in a dry 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 climate yet my skin is still oily i just can't win i think it was more oily in nebraska so it's definitely mellowed out but even in this dry colorado climate my skin is still freaking oily also the last honorable mention is a lip prep. I always prep my lips with a balm, an oil, something, and if I had to repurchase everything, I would just go with the NYX, not NYX, the Clear Elf Glow Revival Lip Oil. I do have a couple tinted version of these, but for lip prep, I go with the clear one. Now let's talk about the products that fit into this 20 items category we're starting off with my all-time favorite primer the liquid elf poreless putty primer love this can't stop won't stop talking about this product and i didn't do a demo of applying that because it's a it's, it's clear it's it's clear unless i zoom really close in you can see how beautiful my skin is looking today absolutely love it for foundations i went with two because i have two interests in mind when i do foundation first for full coverage so i have full coverage and light coverage red cap covergirl outlast foundation heard about this from emily noel absolutely love it some days i want full full coverage so this is my full coverage foundation that i'm working on using up i haven't used it the most this year but we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. It is says it's 24 hour transfer resistant and does have SPF 18. Anything less than 30 SPF is kind of pointless. So I don't utilize this for sunscreen, but I mean, it's always nice to have a smidge more sunscreen in your products. For a light coverage product, I chose the Fenty East Drop Blur, Blurring Skin Tint in the shade three i haven't used this in a while but i got it last summer i was using it non-stop it's amazing it 
it's a light, I would call it a solid light coverage. You can sheer it out if you use a tiny little bit, but this is where it's at for light coverage. And I need to take this out. I'm working on the Misha BB cream, but I feel like I need to play with this once or twice. Maybe by the end of the month, just so I get a little more use out of it. Concealer. The one and only Natasha Denona High Clam Concealer. Can't stop, won't stop talking about this concealer. It is my favorite concealer in my collection. I will definitely be repurchasing this once I use it up. Love it. It just... My under eyes, you can't really tell because I did a lot of liner, but my under eyes look great with this. It adds a nice medium coverage to the skin. It's phenomenal. Can't stop, won't stop bringing this up. For powder, I have two because I that is how I roll. I need an under eye setting powder and I need a full face setting powder. So for under eye setting powder, I choose the Essence Brighten Up powder. And the thing is with Essence powder complexion products, they break. They just they always break so this is a little loose it's just the way it is i love this for the under eyes adds a smidge of brightness i love using my powder puff to just do a swipe down this way to kind of clean up the bronzer it's phenomenal it doesn't help my skin stay matte but i don't really care because i mean it's not in the blazing heat of summer yet so i'm good with just this it's all i need but with summer in mind i chose my all fa all face setting powder for the covergirl clean matte powder this is in the shade uh classic ivory and there's not a lot of coverage to this so you can see it's a little bit light i can honestly get the get away with this probably as an under eye setting powder but I guess I could, I could talk, whatever, I made the list, the list is where it's at, I need a good mattifying primer, I have my Catrice True Skin Lip Loose Powder, but, which I love, don't get me wrong, but if I had to repurchase this, I also want to make these easy to get, and you can only buy Catrice on the Catrice website or Amazon, and some people aren't big on shopping on Amazon, and there's nothing wrong with that. So avoid Amazon, get this powder, you're going to be looking good all day, all day long. Okay, so when I made this list, I tried to do like two blushes, two bronzers, and then I realized I didn't have lip products. So I had to remove two, a bronzer and a blush. So we're talking cream products. The Milani Cream Bronzer uh, in the shade Kit, wait, it's the Cheek, Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer in the shade 110 Fair Honey. I just really enjoy this bronzer because it's simple, it's easy to work with, it's not glowy, it sets well on the face, it's easy to blend out. It's just really good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this, but it blends easily on the skin. It's like a perfect color for me. It's not, I went a little ham on my forehead, but like the blush covered on the sides, but I just, I just really like this. And I thought that maybe I'd want to go with a powder bronzer, but what I like to do with concealer is apply it and then not blend it out right away. So that's when I go in with my cream bronzer, I buff it out. I didn't do that for this demo, but ideally I like to do my concealer, to put the bronzer on, blend the bronzer out, and then the concealer has warmed up enough on my skin. So it's really nice to blend out. Y'all not surprised. About face champagne room. Yeah. It's a perfect blush for me. It just is. And what I really liked about the CoverGirl Clean Matte Bronze Powder today, even though it's tinted, you still see the blush in full force. So I feel like with this, with this list of products, I can get away with just a cream blush. You know, I've been using this since January. We're into March. I had, I, I think this video is going up in April. So we're into April and I'm still using this blush and I'm not sick of it. I'm not. I'm happy, I'm healthy. According to my blood work that they did at the hospital, I am super healthy, even though I eat like a five year old tangent. It's beautiful blush. I'm gonna stop talking about it. Pr eye primer. A lot of people just do concealer as an eye primer. I'm not that person. It doesn't matter what concealer I use on my lids, it always feels heavy, so I go in with a separate eye primer. And this is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. First of all, Ulta Beauty products go on sale 
all the freaking time. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get one free. Things are just on discounted. They better not be discontinued this. I will cry. What I like about this over the Milani, which the Milani I was obsessed with, is just the Milani is really good, but it's really sheer. And, and I just want, if I had to choose one eye primer, I want one with a smidge of coverage. Especially if I'm playing with a new eyeshadow palette and I notice there's a little bit of staining. I just need, I just need more coverage eye primer. But again, you can go in with concealer. That's not my journey. That's not my vibe. Whew. Palettes. This is hard. So I'm not including eyeshadow or eyebrow products because if you've been following me for the past year, my hair changes all the time. So I can't, so sometimes I can get away with the brow pencil. So when I was blondie, I was using the S. Elf waterproof brow pencils. These are pretty good, but they're also pretty waxy. So it's kind of like you either love these or you hate these, but they're only $4. So if you're new to makeup, just pick up one of those. I also like the, let me get this out. What, what? I also like the NYX uh, micro brow pencils. These are a lot stiffer, but they still do hold up really well in the brows. So I use this a couple times. <laughs> But I feel like for, my, for even though my hair is blue and I should go in with a darker pencil, it was a little too dark for me. So I ended up picking up the ColourPop brow pencil in the shade Soft Black. This looks really good on my brows, but still I'm using, I, my hair is blue. I got to use a blue eyeshadow. And so I, I'm not, I'm not counting brows because I would just need, I'd be fucked. If I had to start my makeup collection over from scratch, I would go into one of those brow pencils, but I didn't count brows in here because I would I would look for a blue eyeshadow, like a dark navy blue eyeshadow so I could have in my brows. So I didn't include brows. Let's talk about eyes. Fancy Cosmetic Jewelry Palette. I work for 10 hour shifts. You see my makeup diaries. I'm wearing green the majority of the time. This is technically an olive green, but there's mushrooms on it, so I can't wear it to work. And so I need a work-appropriate eyeshadow palette, and that is the Fancy Cosmetica Druid palette. Full force, amazing. And then to complement that, I chose the About Face eye paint in the shade Smoke Signal. So if I could only have a couple products, I would use this as base, blend it out, and then top it with whatever mood I felt like in this palette. And my favorite shade in here is called Balance, so I could do simple, easy, sparkly looks. But this palette overall is phenomenal. But I didn't film a tutorial for today's look because this look is on Instagram. I would also choose something, so I don't wanna wear green every single day, so we need to have some options. I'd buy a Nova Chowstick. I'd buy the pink one, which is Bombshell. Besides doing my favorite easy eye looks are blushy and sparkly. So I have this very blushy look. I would, I've never used Champagne Room as like something on my eyes. So I'd go in with Bombshell and then my all time favorite super shock is the shade Lady Bird. <sighs> Uh, let's zoom in. Look how sparkly and shiny and wet that is. Let's pop a little bit on the inner corner because I want y'all to see how blinding and perfect this is. So if I only had 20 products to choose from, I would put Ladybird all over the lids, but as an inner corner, it's still ballpark. I can even use it as an inner corner with the Druid palette. Ballpark phenomenal. I didn't bring it out, I should have, but I also included the Fancy Cosmetica, the Rogue palette, in the shade Trickster. Last year, that Rogue palette was my number one palette of 2023, loved that single. So if I had to restart my collection from scratch, I would buy that single. And then because I can't just buy one product from Fancy Cosmetica at a time, I'm not gonna literally just buy one eyeshadow single, I'd buy other singles, I don't know which ones I'd buy, but I would, and I'd probably get a lip oil. 
because it was really good. They also have a green lipstick that I'm dying to try. So the next time I buy from Fancy Cosmetica, it's like an olive green lipstick. I might throw that in my cart. But I have no intentions of shopping for Fancy Cosmetica anywhere soon. So let's talk about eyes. Eyes, eyes, eyes. I would... As much as I'm trying not to do a winged eyeliner every day, I still want to buy a pencil, a liquid liner. So my NYX Epic Ink Liner, my grandma, not my grandma, my mother-in-law did give me a one from Il Maquillage and I moved it and I have no idea where it went. <laughs> but that's a felt tip liner and honestly the Il Maquillage is like really good. So I'm glad she decluttered it to me. But this is a brush tip pen so you're gonna need to be careful with this because with brush tip eyeliner pens they do tend to fray so be careful maybe start off if you're a brand new to eyeliner maybe start off with a felt tip but then if you're going a little bananas go with the epic wear liner if you're if you're feeling comfortable with eyeliner i definitely recommend that and then i would choose my itty bitty baby black epic wear here we go i talk about this all the time talk about it all the time my nyx epic wear black pencil you know what i wouldn't go out and buy this one what i would do is go in i'd actually buy the about face line artist long wear gel eyeliner in the shade into the void so i would buy this over the nyx epic wear because I haven't tried about face eyeliners. I have not even tried this yet, but I still feel like I would purchase this one just out of curiosity because I need a black liner, even with the blushy look. Like sometimes I want my blushy look to be smoky and grungy. I do what I want, okay? I do what I want. For mascara, I would, again, I haven't officially tried this yet. <laughs> I don't care. So I've been really loving the Essence Lash Like a Boss Mascara because it's voluminizing, it's lengthening. I really, really like it, but I repurchased it in the waterproof version. So I would buy this for mascara because I love, I just, waterproof mascara for me is just in case I cry during the day. I've been feeling really vulnerable the past few weeks and very just open and stressed and all this stuff from work. So I've been crying a lot. So I need a waterproof mascara. Lips. You know, it's my lip liner of the year. It's NYX Natural. It is just my perfect lip but better lip liner. It, it's just perfect. I've gotten so much use out of this pencil this year. I've been dabbling around with other lip liners, but NYX Natural is just my holy grail. It is my MVP of this year. And then, did ha no, I'm not doing a label lipstick. And if my 20 uses, I have to do this. I'm just going to go in with a gloss. Milani Instant, Ke Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Champagne. Now, I didn't use a lip liner today. I only was showing off my liquid lipstick because that's what I used today. And I topped it off with a gloss. But if I only pick two products, I would do a liner just because it's simple, it's easy, I can use the fill in in my lips. And I really love this gloss because it's a plumping gloss. Whether or not it actually does anything, I don't know. But it's not a spicy plumping, it's a minty plumping. And I love minty things. I love mints, I love mint chocolate ice cream, I love the smell, I love minty toothpaste. <laughs> I'm just weird. I love a good minty. And so, and with a gloss, I don't reapply liquid lipsticks or liquid lipsticks throughout the day. They wear off, they wear off. I don't do anything about it. So I go, and so I like using this almost as a lip balm just to add a little hydration to my lips as I go in. I wouldn't categorize it as a lip balm, but it kind of does the same thing for me. If you want something a little bit longer lasting, just something to get through the day, honorable mentions, the e.l.f. Uh, their liquid lipsticks. No, they're not liquid lipsticks. Their lip stains. I have the shade Cinnamon Dream and the shade Power Mauve. So these are great because they're glossy, so they give you the glossy vibe, but they're also a lip stain, so they last a while. I did buy a couple of the new Milani lip stains, but I'm not commenting on those yet because I've only worn one once, and then I bought a second shade, so I need to use those. 
but that's it for today's video y'all those are the 20 ish products that if i had to restart my makeup collection that i would buy first and i feel good about my list i feel really good i i fibbed a lot whatever i do what i want this is my channel i'm here to be silly i'm here to have fun as always have joy and bye <laughs>